Good day, guys. Dobar dan. <coughs> Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, first, uh, I want to tell you that my big um, canvas from last um, blue texture flower dip is not um, dry. So I will just show you one of uh, the little ones. Uh, this one is a little different. Uh, it's flat, but uh, this texture stays, if you see. It shines. The, this is the one who which has uh, gold um, underneath, maybe that's why is that effect. I don't know. So today uh, I will do uh, reverse dip with my PVA bag, plastic bag. So uh, last time I did it, I didn't uh, talk. I just um, take a video and upload it with some awful music. So my plastic bags are pretty thin and soft. Uh, not uh, that one that uh, are that they are. Um, just soft and thin. So this is one. We have uh, two canvases today. We will do two methods. And the second, I want to try this first for, for the first time. I'll just cut some fabric, gentle fabric, and we will De de do reverse dip with that these two. So I have uh, colors from yesterday. I add some of them, but um, I will talk um, about colors while I'm putting it on. This is my Colleen blue. I will just use these uh, colors because I have it already mixed, so just to see what will happen. And my cobalt blue. You hear my dog barking, barking outside. This is one, his name is Nox, like a knight, and my metallic blue. I didn't add silicone to any of these colors because these metallics, you know already that they will, they will react and today I add my Prussian blue because I have a white background so I want a little more contrast with this dark blue so when I layer my colors I try to layer it um, in every, all colors in in circle not uh, like I did in this um, rainbow pour because they uh, blend a little bit and it gives uh, beautiful shapes of um, of uh, flower leaves I think so but Maybe you can try it some other way and we will see the difference. I love to see uh, your, uh, your um, uh, results of your flower dips. Some of them are just gorgeous. 
for my opinion and uh, this uh, this is a technique that uh, we can all uh, try and see what uh, result can we get and try to do something different with uh, it's fun technique i i love it i also i also have uh, this little uh, cup of uh, lemon yellow just want to drip wrap it maybe too thin i think it's too too much but we will see just we'll add some around so first our plastic bag i just put it whoops and spread a little try to get this air bubbles out way maybe i must grab bigger one because i think that it, this is too small but we will see what will happen i just love to play with these techniques i love flowers guys uh, you know you know me already I, i'm i'm a flower girl and i i will do some other pours I did it before, you know, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or... Uh, but uh, those days are just uh, experiment with these uh, flower shapes that I want to... Just want to see how... What kind of... Uh, techniques I can use to get some flower shapes and so and now I lift up my bag like this these two corners together and these two corners I can see it already that this won't be. And then I I try to lift it to the center, but it didn't work. So I will just, if you see, did do this, um, Ah, we call it spichka, <laughs> spitza. Okay, and I will just go to the center and try to dip it again a little bit. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe I should leave it like that. Because I don't like this... Um, part here so I will just try to fix it so I just I don't want to do this under this canvas because I'm afraid that I will I just do this and I will just try to dip this again no we couldn't fix it Maybe I love the colors, but I don't love this uh, middle part here. Can we fix it? We will see. Just play and try to. Sometimes 
So you must know when to stop. I didn't this time. So I just a second. I will leave it like that. Uh, just a little torch. Because I see lots of air bubbles. Whoops. Maybe just a second. I didn't prepare another plastic bag, but I should. So maybe we'll just try to redeep and we will see if we can fix this middle part I don't like. And try to do to fix this but obviously it will be just a bigger mess maybe I I add too much paint it's better but not what I expected so I will leave this one because I just don't want to mess around with it anymore. I will grab my little torch because my big one doesn't behave well today. It's not her day, obviously. So I will put this aside and I will do another one with fabric. I just want to show you it's pretty but I don't know. We will see what will be. So maybe this time for our fabric experiment I will add I will add less color I will not I will do smaller puddle if we can call it a puddle I don't know probably not but drizzling puddle <laughs> we just drizzling our paint in here metallics uh, it's hidden a little on the first one I don't know why Just add some this cobalt blue because I love this um, uh, <laughs> purplish tone. Whoops, so much gold. I will just try to do that. 
maybe I must must leave the first one um, like it was and don't uh, mess around with my plastic bag but I just didn't like it at first uh, then when I put, already put uh, my uh, my bag again I I regret that I do but this is how it is so I hope that this will not suck up suck suck uh, <laughs> all the color whoops probably not a good idea but we'll see uh-huh I will I just I must mm, I just mess this part I think Maybe I should grab um, another type of fabric, but I don't know. We will see what will happen. Maybe we will come up, out, up, out with something nice. We will see. I will do it just like with my plastic bag and we will see the difference whoops this one is too big this one is too small isn't it what if we Try to do this around and around and around. It's just blue, isn't it? This way I did, uh, I just mess around with my plastic bag last time and I did uh, those, whoops, maybe we should do this. Oh. This one doesn't turn out good. I don't like it, but maybe we should do it just um, if we put some color on the surface and try to and we will see what this does Not better yes some colors in it.
So, what do we learn? That we can use this um, fabric to, to do these dips uh, like vintage style wallpapers. And with my plastic bag, I did my powder too big. I will just try to show you this cute little flowers that we maybe I must do this. I will try. Let's mess around a little bit more. Like a balloon dips on I will just try to add some drips now and there and we will just dip our fabric into it and we will see <coughs> how can we what can we get we will just grizzle it around It's uh, so, I just love uh, this part about uh, pouring process because I, when I do something and my brains uh, work all the time and why and said, uh, why we can do this, we can try that, so this is fun about pouring you can let your imagination go and sometimes you get nice results sometimes you don't but just paint isn't it So, maybe I should grab another one, but I won't because I think that this one is okay because it it's, has paint on it already and it's kind of heavy, so let's see. should have leave it like it was before because I think that this doesn't work as well maybe what the mess Guys, this is so weird. I 
I can always grab my balloon. Where is the smallest balloon I have? <clears throat> Or maybe we we should leave it and see what will happen if we leave this alone. Just a second. I will show you just another thing. I grab another piece of fabric. And I will just drizzle. I miss my Russian blue. just drizzling again and again and again and now it is a ton of paint already on there you see this is not done and it does completely different thing Just weird. Maybe I must have this a little I got hair. stop maybe we should do this um, on the white before before I get uh, <laughs> too much color on it and it could be fun and pretty if we we try to we get some different effects with 
this fabric I think so this is it another experiment see you